Hello, hello. Pay attention, top right on my screen says recording has restarted. That's because I'm using GeForce Experience, GeForce Now, to record my screen. Now, uh, this may or may not be important. I don't really know. So I'm making this video to follow up my other video on black bars. I'll link them in the description. But basically, I don't have that computer anymore. So I'm just going to go over how you play CSGO without the black bars, how you record CSGO without the black bars on the side. So here's how you do it. Okay, I've opened up CSGO. Currently, I'm playing in uh, 4x3 stretch. Now, there's a couple of things you have to do in order to play stretch without black bars. But I don't know what you have to do to record stretch without black bars. I'm just going to show you my settings, what I currently have, what works for me, and then you can go from there. I know there's other videos out there, so you can reference them. But I just wanted to make this quickly. So as you can see, I'm 4x3 right now uh, on a stretch because there's no black bars. So I can go to 16x9. So this is, um, I'm going to use this, but it's 16x9. I'll hit apply, and you can see everything defaulted to 16x9. This is what everything looks like. You can see black bars over here. For some reason, the character model and this over here is there, but there's black bars here. So I'm going to go back to 4x3, stretch, hit apply, and that's gone. By the way, uh, pressing Alt-Z if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, great way, absolutely great way to record your screen. Let's just go over that for a second. So you press Alt-Z, that's the keyboard shortcut, brings up this here. You literally just click that and hit start recording. It's so easy, so simple. And uh, you can go through all the settings here, uh, down here to video capture. You can go all the way up to 130 megabyte per second bitrate, which is crazy. I'm, I'm doing 50, that's the default. I, you know, you can have the resolution for in-game, you can set the FPS, you can set this all. I don't know, really great. Definitely look into GeForce Now or GeForce Experience for recording your screen. Skip past OBS. You can't record CSGO with OBS, by the way, but you can with GeForce Now. Okay, so right click on your desktop, click NVIDIA Control Panel, click Change Resolution, and it'll get this page here. You go to Customize, then you create new resolutions. This one here, 2304 by 1440, is for 16 by 10 stretched. I used to play 16 by 10 stretched, and it was great because it was a hybrid between 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 stretched. 4 by 3 might be a little bit too much stretching for some people, where 16 by 10 is a little bit more, but not that much more than 16 by 10. So it's more tolerable. And I have a video on this. I'll link it in the description, the difference between 16 10, 16 by 9, and 4 by 3 stretch. So go check out that video. You can actually see the difference. The benefit to 4 by 3 stretch, if you're not going to watch that video, is it makes the character models wider. Basically, it makes them easier to see and, in theory, easier to hit. Uh, I've noticed the difference. It is definitely easier to get headshots. And one other benefit, in my opinion, is uh, it narrows your field of view because it stretches it. So what happens is you just focus on more of what's in front of you and less on what's beside you. So anyways, so come here, create a custom resolution. Uh, you'll want to change the horizontal pixels. And uh, I believe that's it. Um, so let's let's create a custom one here just for shits and giggles. We'll say 2000 by 1440. I'll hit test and I'll hit yes. And then there you go. Now I have a custom resolution. If this was a format in CSGO, like 16 by 10, this resolution would show up in CSGO settings. And then you could select that and it would be good. Uh, you could do some math to find out what numbers you have to use. Again, this is in that video that I referenced. I'll put all that math in the description. But if you're using a 2560 by 1440p monitor, like I am, this is 16 by 10 stretch. This is four by three stretch. So select that, select your refresh rate, make sure everything's good. So once you create your custom resolutions, come over to desktop size and position, don't worry about that, and select the custom resolution. So right here, this is the four by three stretch. Select that, select GPU, and select full screen. These are the settings that work for me. I don't know if they're gonna work for everybody, but this is the bread and butter. If you have an NVIDIA card and you're using NVIDIA GeForce now to record your screen, 
and you're using these settings that you see on the screen right now, you should be able to record CSGO in full screen with no black bars. In fact, you should be able to record everything in full screen with no black bars. Hopefully this works for you. Uh, we'll come over to the 16 by 10 stretch and it's the same thing, GPU, full screen. Right, that's important. So right here, bread and butter. Uh, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, uh, leave it in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and comment so that I get this video out to other people. There seem to be almost every day people asking for an update video because uh, every now and again, you know, you'll get an update or a software update in here or an AMD. And uh, I think one of the software updates completely rendered my one solution useless in that uh, previous video I made. So you have to come up with a new way to do it. But anyways, I don't use AMD anymore. I'm on to, uh, <laughs> I'm on to uh, uh, NVIDIA now, built a new computer. So yeah, anyway, comments, concerns, leave them below. Okay, so now that you can play CS in without black bars, when you come to put it in an editing program like Premiere, you come drag it in like this, and you look at it and you go, wait, this seems awfully square. Well, it is. It's 4x3. There's no black bars, but it's 4x3. So you're thinking, well, how the, how do I, what the fuck? Well, now what you have to do is select the clip, come over here uh, under Effect Controls, select Uniform Scale, uncheck the box, and then change this. And you can see that it's moving, right? But now you want to stretch it out, and you see that it's you're just getting rid of the information, right? Uh, imagine this. All right, so what you have to do is click Sequence at the top, Sequence Settings, then change this to whatever your monitor is. Since mine's 2560 by 1440, that's what I type in. If you had a 1920 monitor, you'd go 1920 by 1080. Hit OK, hit OK. So now you have the black bars. Now you can go over here, uncheck Uniform Scale, and drag it until it reaches the edge. If you want the perfect number, it's 122.2. And there you go, four by three stretched, edit your video, make some cuts, etc. put in a transition, and there you go. Now, if you like zooming in a lot, and you double click and you zoom in, you're, you're going, oh fuck, now it's not zooming in correctly, and Jesus Christ. What you can do is right click and hit nest, or right click, unlink, right click, nest. And if you hit nest, then you can zoom in in the aspect ratio. Anyway, lots to mess around with. Hope this helps. Until further news, I shall talk to you later.